You're watching the Ram Sports Magazine Show on Northern Colorado 5. Welcome back, Rams fans. We stopped by Moby Gym to check in with the volleyball team as they prepare to start their home tournament, starting off with 14th ranked Pepperdine. All right, Rams fans, we're now joined by head coach Tom Hilbert. Tom, how did you feel the weekend went for you guys over in Wichita? It was a really tough tournament. I mean, you opened up with the home team. They're fired up and ready to go. go walk us through that game. Well, Wichita State's a very good team, and uh, they draw well at home the same way we do. They're a very functional group of players, and, you know, uh, I think we didn't play good enough competition on the first weekend to get us ready for that. And they came out and played very effectively and very efficiently and ended up beating us in four sets. And, uh, you know, that was a match that I felt like we should have won, and I was a little bit disappointed. Then we turned around the next two nights after that and lost those two matches as well. Our, our match against Tennessee was much closer, and they're a big, huge physical athletic team, and, and we had chances to win that one. And then we played BYU on Saturday. BYU has a young lady named Jen Hampson who is one of the best opposite attackers in the country. And by that time, we were tired. I don't think we felt real good about ourselves, and we ended up losing that one as well. So coming up on Friday, you guys have 14th ranked Pepperdine, another really great team. This is going to be your fifth team in a row that right. is a quality, quality opponent. Mm -hmm. Going to that game, I mean, what do you expect? What do you know about Pepperdine? Well, they're deep. They've got great players at every position. They've got a setter that's very, she's very active and attacks a lot of balls. Um, huge right side player. So, you know, they're really good. I mean, they're going to be as good as any of those three teams that we saw in Wichita. But we're at home, so hopefully that helps us, gives us a little energy. It, it isn't generally about winning or losing, it's about us going out and playing well. And, and that gives us the best chance to win anyway. You know, So we gotta go out and play each point one at a time and play well. Well, thank you for joining us, Coach Hilbert. All right, Rams fans, we're now joined by Dana Cranston. Dana, this weekend you guys went over to Wichita. It was a full to tournament, they were loaded. You guys kinda had a rough go of it, mm -hmm. especially looking at the outside hitters. What, gave you guys troubles in that tournament? Um, I think we, were, we came in a little bit rattled, kind of being on someone else's floor. Uh, we weren't totally ready coming out there for a decent sized crowd um, against a really good team in their home gym. So I think off the bat we were kind of shaken up and that didn't really help us when we got into the game later on. Uh, we didn't handle out, uh, out of system sets very well so we were hitting a lot of airs that really hurt us. Um, statistically and just as a whole like feeling wise for the game. So I think that was kind of... I mean, that carried on, the, that was the theme of the entire tournament. Then you guys come back from that tournament, the very next day get Oklahoma, who not in the top 25, but they're receiving votes. They're another good team. And that kind of was still consistent with the first couple of matches. Mm -hmm. And then something seemed to click and you guys seemed to turn it on and the outside hitters started feeding off of each other. You guys got going, what exactly happened there? I think we were just really determined, first of all, excited to come back to home, but determined to kind of redeem ourselves from the weekend. So I think that was a huge part of it. I think also Kelsey and I really focused on that on the left side and Deej was really focused on being a lot more accurate. So us working together just kind of pushed us right over the edge we were getting, trying to get to. You look at the end of that, you finish with 19 kills, a career high, you finish with 24 and a half points, another career high. What was that like? Did you just get in a groove? At one point you made like nine, I think it was 17 straight kills without an error. Like, did you just find a comfort zone? What happened for you individually? Yeah, I think I was kind of trying to get to the point where I knew I could hit the ball in safely to get them out of system. So I was confident I wasn't going to make an error because that was where my troubles were over the weekend was error management. So I kind of found the point where I wanted to be with that and then I took swings when I could. And it just kind of, yeah, like the groove hit and I just found my rhythm. So you get this weekend's tournament coming up. You get Pepperdine, 14th ranked. You guys got your day off of time and rest and you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. What did you want to accomplish as a team and individually this week getting ready for them? I think a huge focus of practice has been out of system, setting and hitting. Just trying to get better at that, more consistent and more confidence in us, just getting more reps there, knowing uh, what swings we can take, how hard we can take them, and when we can take them. Uh, that's a huge part of it. I think another huge part is digging more accurately. A lot of times we put ourselves in those out-of-system situations because our digs are so far off the net. So uh, we were, we're working a lot on those two things this week to help us this weekend. And what exactly is it about playing at home? You guys are 4-0 at home and 0-3 at home. Is it the crowd? What, what here is different for you guys? Uh, it's everything. It's just the Moby magic. Um, that's what we call it. And 
I, it's just the crowd knowing that we get to dance under our disco ball in the locker room every day um, before the match and just coming out knowing that everyone here supports you and wants you here and wants you to do well. Um, it's just, it's home. We play the best here. Well, best of luck against Pepperdine and thank you for joining us, Dana. All right, that's all the time I have for you today, Rams fans, but make sure to check in next week for another exciting episode of Rams Sports Magazine. This has been RSM, the Rams Sports Magazine Show on Northern Colorado 5.